Welcome and good morning. Karibuni na habari asubuhi. This is Pastor Dave and Solomon. Mimi hapa ni mchungaji David nikiwa na ndugu yangu Solomon. We're so glad that you have chosen to use this video as part of your Sunday morning worship. Tuna furaha kubwa sana kwa kuwa unatumia video hii kama sehemu yako ya ibada ya Jumapili. Now some of you are worshiping the Lord alone today. Na wamoja wenu wanakwenda kumwabudu Mungu ama Bwana peke yao siku ya leo. Others of you have gathered as a family and are worshiping together. Na wamoja wenu wamekusanyika kama familia na kuabudu kwa pamoja. Whatever the case, we are one in spirit. Japo yote hayo sisi wote ni mmoja katika roho. And we have one hope in the same Lord. Na tunalo tumaini moja katika Bwana mmoja. I pray that this video would convict us of our sin. Na ninakwenda kuonyesha video hivi hii kwa ajili ya kukabili maovu yetu. That it would teach us God's truth. Ambayo inakwenda kutufundisha ukweli wa Mungu and inspire us to love him more. Na kwenda kutusaidia kumpenda zaidi. And I pray that you would be changed. Na ninakwenda nitakwenda kuomba ili uende kubadilika. Transformed. Ili uende kubadilishwe. As you hear the word of God. Utapokwenda kusikia neno la Mungu. And the Holy Spirit applies his word to us. Na roho wa Mungu atakwenda kututumia kama anavyokwenda kupenda. Amen. Amen. So let's begin. Kwa hiyo acha tuanze. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good. Mungu ni mwema. All the time. Kila wakati. All the time. Kila wakati. God is good. Mungu ni mwema. Hallelujah. I'm hallelujah. To nam tagaza Yesu ni bwana. Anastahili. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our call to worship today is found in the book of Psalms. Psalm 61, the first five verses. Mwito wetu kwa ajili ya maabudu tunakwenda kuipata katika kitabu cha Zaburi sura ile ya 61 au 161 verse ya kwanza hadi 5. Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. You have been a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. E Mungu, tunasoma katika Zaburi sura ile ya 161 verse ya kwanza hadi ya 5. Nasema hivi. E Mungu, usikie kilio changu. Usikilize sala yangu. Ninakulilia kutoka misho ya dunia nikiwa nimevunjika moyo. Uniongoze juu kwenye mwamba mkubwa maana wewe ndiwe kimbilio langu, kinga yangu imara dhidi ya adui. Naomba nikae nyumbani mwako milele nipate usalama chini ya mabawa yako. E Mungu, umezisikia ahadi zangu. Ume nijalia sehemu yangu unayo wapa wale wa ucha. Let's go before the Lord. Acha tuende mbele za Bwana. And as we come into his, his presence, na tunacho kwenda mbele zake, let us acknowledge our sin. Acha tuende kutambua maovu yetu. Let us agree with his holy word. Acha tuende tukubaliane na neno lake takatifu. And let us listen to the convicting work of the Holy Spirit. Na tuende kusikiliza kwa tuende kusikiliza kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu. That we might be forgiven and cleansed from all unrighteousness. Ili tuende kusamehewa na kusafishwa na dhidi ya kila uovu. Please pray privately and then I will pray for us together. Kwa hiyo omba kimoyo moyo na nitakwenda kuomba kwa ajili ya sisi wote wa pamoja. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, 
We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Believe the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Of course, today, the third week, as we've been meeting virtually here through the video. It's hard to believe, but it's already Palm Sunday. I have chosen a Palm Sunday text from the Gospel of John. The scripture reading is taken from John chapter 12, verses 12 through 19. Now the next day, the crowd that had come for the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. Now Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. See, your king is coming, seated on a donkey's colt. At first his disciples did not understand all this. Only after Jesus was glorified did they realize that these things had been written about him and that these things had been done to him. Now the crowd that was with him when he called Lazarus from the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to spread the word. Many people, because they had heard that he had performed this sign, went out to meet him. So the Pharisees said to one another, See, this is getting us nowhere. Look how the whole world has gone after him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tunasoma katika injili ya Yohana sura ile ya 12 verse ya 12 hadi 16 inasema hivi Kesho yake kundi kubwa la watu waliokuja kwenye sikukuu walisikia kuwa Yesu alikuwa njiani kuja Yerusalemu basi wakachukua matawi ya mitende wakatoka kwenda kumlaki kwa wakapaza sauti wakisema Sifa abarikiwe huyo achaye kwa jina la Bwana abarikiwe mfalme wa Israeli Yesu aka akampanda mwanapunda mmoja akapanda juu yake kama yasemavyo maandiko usiogope mji wa Sioni tazama mfalme wako anakuja amepanda mwanapunda wakati huo wanafunzi wake hawakuelewa mambo haya lakini Yesu alipokwisha ku alipokwisha tukuzwa ndipo walipokumbuka kwamba hayo yalikuwa yameandikwa juu yake na kwamba watu walikuwa wamemtendea wa hivyo kundi la watu wale waliokuwa pamoja na, na Yesu wakati alipomuita Lazaro kutoka kaburini akamfufua kutoka wafu walimshuhudia kwa hiyo umati huo wa watu ulimlaki maana wote wa isre, wote walisikia kwamba Yesu alikuwa amefanya ishara hiyo basi na farisayo wakaambiana na naona hatuwezi kufanya chochote tazameni ulimwengu wote unamfuata amen amen at this time we will pray together Earlier in the week, I sent out a text, a group text, text asking everyone to send in their prayer requests and their praises. In fact, every week we encourage you to send in your prayer requests and praises and your greetings. 
Hivyo hivyo tutakwenda na kuwa na, kuendelea na zoezi hilo tuta, kila wiki tutakuwa tunatuma ujumbe kwa watu kama una neno la kusema kama ushukurani, ushuhuda na salamu jisikie huru kutuma. Annie who is a nurse at one of the local hospitals asked for prayer in this regard. Eh Annie mmoja wapo wa ma manesi wanaokwenda kuhudumia katika hospitali ni mmoja ambaye ametuma ujumbe wake. She has said we would pray for all healthcare workers. Anakwenda kuwa na hitaji la kwamba watu tuombe watu wote wafanyakazi wa afya katika mahospitali mbalimbali and all critically ill patients who are in the ICU because of the coronavirus. Na watu wote ambao ni wagonjwa wa corona wa virusi vya corona ambao wako kwenye wamelazwa huko kwenye hospitali. She also asks that we pray for people who are without jobs and struggling financially. Na ameomba pia maombi kwa ajili ya watu ambao wamepoteza kazi na ambao wako kwenye shida ya kiuchumi. She is also careful to praise the, praise the Lord. Na pia anakwenda kumshukuru Mungu. She praises God that he is using this time to bring people together. Amekwenda kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu Mungu anakwenda kufanya kazi ya kuleta watu wote kwa pamoja kwa wakati huu. Although not physically together, lakini sio kimwili pamoja, but in their responses to the virus and supporting each other. Lakini ni kwa sababu ya kujibu hali ya virusi na kwa ajili ya kusaidiana kila mmoja na mwingine. Jano sen, sends in his prayer request. Eh Jano na yeye ametuma eh, ombi lake hitaji lake la maombi. His prayer request is simple and reflects I know everyone's heart. Uh, excuse. His, his request is very simple and it's everybody's prayer request. Uh, he prays that the coronavirus would end soon. And Leah, she sends in a prayer request as well. Eliash naye ametuma hitaji lake la maombi pia. She asks that God would protect us. Anaomba kwa Mungu ulinzi wake kwetu. That he would heal those who are sick. Na aende kuponya wale walio wagonjwa. And that he would bring revival and cleansing to our land. Na atakwenda kuleta uamsho katika ulimwengu wetu tunaoishi ama nchi yetu. And thank you for those who have sent in your prayer requests. Asanteni kwa wote ambao mmekwenda kutuma mahitaji ya maombi. Let's pray. Acha tuombe. Father, we come into your presence with thanksgiving. Baba, tunakuja mbele yako wenye tukiwa wenye shukurani. Even in this difficult time, we have hope. Japokuwa tuko katika muda mgumu lakini tuna matumaini. Father, we know that you are protecting us and caring for us. Baba, tunajua unakwenda kutulinda na unakwenda kutujali. Father, we pray as one even though we are separated. Baba, tunakwenda kuomba kama mtu mmoja japo tumekwenda kutengana. Please hear the combined prayers of us as we pray together in our different locations. Baba, naenda kusikia mahitaji yetu, maombi yetu kwa pamoja kama tunavyokwenda kuyaomba tukiwa katika maeneo mbalimbali. Father, indeed we pray that you would end the coronavirus, that you would have mercy on us. Baba, tunakwenda kuomba ili uende kuwa na rehema kwetu ili uende kusitisha ugonjwa huu wa corona. Who heal those who have become sick with the virus. A special measure of protection for those frontline health care workers. Be with us as we stay at home. Give us patience. Give us understanding during this difficult time. Nenda kwa pamoja na sisi japo tunakuta kwa nyuma nyumbani tupatie uvumilivu katika hali hii tunakwenda kuishi. Father take away our fear. Baba nenda kutupilia mbali kuondoa hofu mioyoni mwetu. Take away our anxiety. Nenda kutoa wasiwasi kati yetu. May we look to you as our hope. Na ili twende kukutazamia wewe kama tumaini letu. May we find you to be to be our great hope and our steadfast love. Ili twende kukuona wewe kama tumaini letu maalum. Father, we thank you for what you're going to do through this terrible this bad situation. Baba tunakwenda kushukuru kwa lile ambalo utakwenda kulitenda kwa ajili ya hali hii mbaya tunakwenda kuishi. Father, we give you the glory. 
Baba tunakupa utukufu. Father, we give you the glory for what you will do and are doing. Baba tunakwenda kupatia utukufu kwa wale ambao umekwenda kuyatenda na wale ambao unakwenda kuyatenda. We do pray Lord that you bring revival through this difficult situation. Tunaomba Baba uletu uamsho na uponyaji wako katika hali hii ngumu tunakwenda kuishi. For your glory we pray. Kwa ajili ya utukufu wako tunaomba. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. Father, we ask you, Lord, now as we come to your word, that you would speak to us. Baba, tunaenda kuomba, tunapokuenda kusema nino lako, uende kusema pamoja nasi. Father, we thank you that you're always teaching us, always speaking to us. Asante, Baba, kwa maano, unakuenda kutufundisha kila wakati na unakuenda kuzungumza na sisi kila wakati. That you are not silent. Wewe, auko mkimia. Make sure, Father, though, help us, Father, help us to listen. Baba akikisha utusaidie tuende kusikiliza. Help us to learn. Tusaidie tujifunze. Apply what we hear today to our hearts. Tuende tuyaweke katika matendo yale tunayokwenda kuyasikia mioyoni mwetu. And transform us, transform us into the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Na uende kutubadilisha kwa picha ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. We ask this in Jesus name. Tunaomba ni kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Take your Bibles and turn to John chapter 12. We're going to be there in just a moment. Chukweni Biblia zenu na tufunue kwenye kitabu cha injili ya Yohana sura ile 12 tutakuwa hapo kwa muda. Of course it is week 3 of the coronavirus pandemic. Na kwa kweli ni wiki ya tatu katika kipindi hiki cha mlipuko wa magonjwa haya virusi vya corona. And again this week we're asking how you doing? How you doing, everybody? Na ninakwenda kuwauliza mnaendeleaje, mnaendeleaje kwa wote. You know, we talked about this last week. You know, when there's a great upheaval, when there's great change, there's great opportunity as well. Eh, kama tulivyokwenda kusema wakati uliopita kwamba wakati mgumu kama huu wa matatizo na ni wakati pia mzuri wa nafasi nzuri kwa kutumia. I hope you're taking advantage of this opportunity. Ninaamini kwamba umekwenda kujipatia nafasi nzuri kwa ajili ya muda huu maana. Many of us have, have, have more time on our hands. Praise the Lord. Watu wengi wa moja wetu wengi wana muda mwingi kwa wakati wao wenyewe. And how we use that time? Well, we can redeem it for good things. Eh, ni vipi tunavyoweza kutumia muda huu? Tunaweza tukautumia kwa ajili ya mambo mazuri. And I encourage you last week instead of binging on TV or Netflix, Eh, kama nilivyokwenda kuwashaurieni kwa wiki iliyopita uliko kukaa kwenye TV kupoteza muda kwenye TV instead I encourage you to bible binge lakini kwenda kuambieni kwa ajili ya kuatia moyo kupitia neno la Mungu and I suggested various ways we could do that na nilikwenda kupendekeza njia maalum nzuri ambayo naweza kutuwezesha kufanya hivyo one idea was to read the book of psalms in the month of april Eh wazo la kwanza ilikuwa ni kwamba kwa mwezi wa mwezi wa nne kusoma kitabu chote cha Zaburi ama Zaburi zote. April has 30 days and the book of Psalms has 150 Psalms. Eh mwezi wa nne una siku 30 na kitabu cha Zaburi kina Zaburi 150. If you read 5 Psalms a day you can get through the whole book of Psalms in, in, in the month of April. If you read my uh, If you read 5 5 Psalms a day Eh unavyo ukiweza kusoma Zaburi tano kwa siku una uwezo wa kusoma Zaburi 150 kwa mwezi wote wa wa mwezi wa nne. Well maybe so you haven't started. That's okay. So maybe you haven't started reading songs. Eh labda wa moja wetu tayari wameanza kusoma Zaburi and it is already April 5th. Na leo tayari ni mwezi wa nne tarehe tatu. If you read six psalms a day, you still can make it through the book of Psalms. Na kama unaweza kusoma zaburi sita kwa siku, una uwezo wa kusoma zaburi zote 150 kwa mwezi wote wa nne. And I promise you, you will be transformed, you will be changed. Na ninakuahidi kwamba utakwenda kupata mabadiliko, utabadilika. You will meet with God himself. Utakwenda kukutana na Mungu mwenyewe. Who wrote the book of Psalms? Do you know? Ni nani aliyeandika kitabu cha Zaburi? Unamjua? Many of the Psalms were written by King David. Eh, Zaburi nyingi zimeandikwa na mfalme Daudi. The scriptures say that King David, though he was imperfect, he had a heart after God's own heart. See? King David, though imperfect, 
maandiko ya Mtakatifu unasema kwamba mfalme Daudi ambaye hakuwa mkamilifu yet the bible says that his heart was after god's own heart and as we read and as we meditate on david's words kama tunavyokwenda kusoma na kwenda kutafakari maneno ya daudi as we weep with him tunavyo weep and cry with him tunavyokwenda kulia kama yeye alivyokwenda kulia as we praise the lord with him as we learn of his heart that's where you'll find David's heart in the book of Psalms as you do that the Holy Spirit will come alongside and he will begin to give you a heart like David's heart a heart after God himself so I pray that you indeed are taking advantage of this time and reading the scriptures, letting the letting this word of God dwell richly in your soul. Well, today is Palm Sunday. If we could all be together, we would be waving our palms. Unfortunately, we can't be together today. Indeed, we, we miss being together. Amen? Here in the book of John, we see the story of Jesus entering Jerusalem that first Palm Sunday. It was it was a parade. Unfortunately now parades are illegal. Pray, we can't get together like that. We can't have parades anymore. But indeed, even though we can't come together, we can still invite Jesus to be with us. These, these crowds of people, they were welcoming Jesus in as king. What they did? They welcomed him in as, as king, king of Israel. Of course, we know that they, they wanted a political king. Yes, Jesus indeed is the King of Israel. But for, for before Jesus took his position at the right hand of the Father, he first had to go to the cross. And here we see him going to Jerusalem, going into Jerusalem, going to the cross. And we can rejoice. We can praise God. We can praise God that He chose to come to Jerusalem. They wanted to make Him king. They wanted to make him king. But first he had to be the suffering servant. You know, when it comes to Jesus, there's what we want from him and what we need. Indeed, Jesus is our Savior. But for him to be our savior, he first had to be our suffering servant. Uh, 
He had to go to the cross. He had to take the penalty of our sins. And then raise, then rise on the third day. Aren't we glad that he didn't choose the glory of becoming a, a king, the political king that they all wanted him to be? Instead, he chose the path of servanthood. Instead, he chose to be a servant. Instead, he humbled himself. Instead, he went to the cross. What we want and what we need are not always the same thing. What we want and what we need are not the same thing. Right now we, we have to put some of our wants on hold. Some of the things we want to do we can't do. Some of the people we, we want to be with, we can't be with. Instead, we have to trust that God is working things out. And that God is bringing about a good purpose in all this. Above all, he knows what we need. And sometimes what we need is not what we want. I want you to ask yourself for a moment. I want you to ask yourself, where, how am I struggling right now in this coronavirus crisis? What is, what is my heart's desire right now? Here's the thing, God will give you your heart's desire. So how are you feeling right now? What are you what are you what are your feelings right now? Are you struggling? Many of us are struggling. We wish that Jesus would just make everything right again as it was before. We have a hard time making sense of this thing, this, this pandemic. How come we're going through it right now? But we need to know, we need to remember. Remember this. That God is in control. And he is working his good purposes even in this difficulty. And now is the time to pray. What are you teaching me? What do I need to be learning? What do I need? Not so much as what do I want. Excuse. God, a simple prayer. What do I need to know? What do I need to be doing? We look at hardship and, and of course we, we, we don't enjoy those hard difficult times. But yet these are the times where God gets our attention. These are the times where we need to pray before the Lord. These are the times where we need to humble ourselves. 
Huu ni muda ambao tunatakiwa tujinyenyekeze sisi wenyewe. Fall before him and ask him to speak to us. Kuanguka mbele zake na kumuomba aseme na sisi. He is much smarter. He is much more he, he understands. He is much wiser than we are. Yeye ni mwema kuliko sisi tulivyo. And so we call upon his name. Na hivyo tunakwenda kumuita kwa jina lake. God doesn't always do what, he, what we want him to do for. Eh Mungu aende kufanya yale tunao awezi aende kufanya yale tunaotaka yeye aende kuyafanya kwetu. But he is working out what's best for us. Lakini yeye anakwenda kufanyia kazi yale mambo yaliyo mazuri zaidi kwetu. Those same people that that welcome Jesus there at the first Palm Sunday in Jerusalem. Those same people Tunakwenda kuona watu ambao walikuwa wanakumkaribisha Yesu siku katika siku ya matawi their hopes were, they had such high hopes they had such high hopes for Jesus Walikwenda kuonyesha hali ya tumaini fulani but then their hopes were dashed because he went to the cross Lakini tumaini lao hilo halikwenda kutimia kwa sababu Yesu alielekea kwenye msalaba In this we find a lesson in this example of the triumphal entry of the Palm Sunday and, and, its, out, and, its, and its outcome, we find a lesson. Na katika siku ya, ya matao, tunakwenda kupata somo. We find a lesson that God is at work in ways that we might not understand. Tunakwenda kupata somo kwamba mungu yuko kazini na amanu tunakwenda kuyelewa. Yet, yet over time, over time, through time, he will reveal. Na kwa jinsi muda unavyokuelekea Mungu anakwenda kulitazama tena upya. He will show us his good purpose. Atakwenda kutuonyesha makusudi yake mazuri. And today, today we can trust. Na siku ya leo tunaweza tukaamini that he is working all things out together for our good. Kwa sababu anakwenda kufanya kazi kuyafanyia mambo yote kazi kwa pamoja according to his purposes. Kwa kulingana na makusudi yake. Let's pray. Acha tuombe. Oh Father, we thank you today that you are in control of this world. Baba, tunakwenda kusema asante siku ya leo maana wewe unakwenda kusimamia mambo yote katika ulimwengu huu. And though we don't understand. Hata yale tusio yaelewa. We don't understand your ways sometimes. Atuelewe njia zako wakati mwingine. We know that you are directing things. You are working things out for our good. Una tunajua kwamba unakwenda kuelekeza mambo yote kwenda mbali na nasi. I pray for each one of us. Ninakwenda kuomba kwa ajili ya kila mmoja wetu. That as anxiety rises up, as fear rises up. Japo kwamba uoga na hofu zinakwenda kuinuka as we become impatient tunavyokwenda kuwa watu wasio na uvumilivu even angry at our situation na wakati mwingine kwenye hasira kwa ajili ya muda huu na hali tunayoishi that we would channel that disappointment na mimi kwamba utakwenda kutupilia mbali mafadhaiko haya we would channel that into prayer tunakwenda kuyaribu yote haya kuyafunga katika mahombi that we would call upon your name na tutakwenda kuita kwa jina lako and hear from you as you want to teach us. Na utakwenda kusikia na uende kutufundisha. That we would search your word. Ili twende kufanana na neno lako. That we'd hear your voice. Ili tutakwenda kusikia sauti yako. Understand your ways. Kusiki kuelewa njia zako. And gain that confidence that you are in. Na kupata uhakika huo kama ulivyo wewe. That you are indeed working out your good purposes. Kama unavyo kwenda kufanyia kazi malengo na makusudi yaliyo mazuri. We pray in Jesus name. Tunaomba ni kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen.
Just a few announcements before we have to say goodbye. Eh tuna matangazo machache kabla ya hatujasema kwa heri. We really do want to hear from you. We want to hear your prayer requests and your praises. Tunapendelea kusikia kutoka kwako kama vile mahitaji, shukurani, salamu na kadhalika. And and if you have any needs, please please let us know as well. Na kama unahitaji lolote lile tafadhali tujulishe iwe haraka iwezekanavyo. Please avail yourself to the new phone number that we have. The new phone number is 267 388-399-0922 Also, next week is Easter And we are asking you to consider making an Easter offering Na hivyo tunakwenda kuomba uende kujiandaa kwa matoleo ama sadaka ya siku ya Pasaka. Although we're not meeting together, eh labda tunaweza tukawe ama tusiwe pamoja, and though we don't have opportunity to give our and bring our offerings. Although we don't have opportunity to bring our offerings. Na hivyo tusiwe na hata na nafasi ya kuweza kuleta sadaka zetu, we would like you to consider giving a gift this Easter. Lakini tunaweza kuomba ujaribu kujitahidi kutoa hata zawadi kwa ajili ya siku ya Pasaka. The church continues to have many expenses. Kanisa linaendelea kuwa na gharama nyingi. So we ask that you would please consider giving to this Easter offering. Kwa hiyo tunakwenda kusii kwamba uende kutoa kwa ajili ya siku ya Pasaka. There are two ways that you can give. Na kuna njia mbili ambazo unaweza kutumia kwa kutoa. If you'd like you can write a check and send it to the church. Ukitaka unaweza kuandika cheque na ukaituma hiyo sheti kwa kanisa. The address there is on the screen. The address is on the screen for you. Eh, anwani yetu yuko kwenye ubao ama kwenye screen. And, and another another way is through the Cash app. Na njia ya pili ni njia ile ya Cash app. Just search Sack Philly. Tafazali tafuta tu sack Philly and give as you can. Na ukatoe kama unavyoweza. Thank you so much for considering a gift at this time. Asante ni sana kwa ajili ya kwenda kujali swala hili la zawadi ama matoleo kwa muda huu. And now for our benediction. Na sasa ni baraka za mwisho. Together we say, may God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us. As we close, Irene will come and play the blessing. A new song to many of you. I hope you enjoy it. Eh kama tunavyokwenda kukamilisha, Irene tena anakuja na wimbo The Blessing na ni wimbo mpya kwa wengi wetu. Asante. May God bless you. Mungu akubariki. Be safe. Uwe salama. Let's stay in touch. Na tuendele kwa siliana. And we look forward to seeing you on Easter next na, week. Na tunategemea kukuona kwa wiki na ukuja katia siuku yetu ya pasaka.
And now for our benediction. Na sasa ni baraka za mwisho. Together we say, may God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us. As we close, Irene will come and play the blessing. A new song to many of you. I hope you enjoy it. Eh kama tunavyokwenda kukamilisha, Irene tena anakuja na wimbo The Blessing na ni wimbo mpya kwa wengi wetu. Asante. May God bless you. Mungu akubariki. Be safe. Uwe salama. Let's stay in touch. Na tuendelee kuasiliana. And we look forward to seeing you on Easter next na, week. Na tunategemea kukuona kwa wiki nayo kuja kati ya siku yetu ya Pasaka. Okay.